degrees. Barbara's winning right now in the weather comp. Mine's next, 25 degrees. Then Nick Plew's coming out of the UK. He's 26. Our on air producer, 27 degrees. So we're in the ballpark, 17 degrees. We knew that was a little light as far as the weatherman goes. Wednesday, September the 11th. And, uh, well, I tell you what, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and today, believe me, absolutely elated, because good friend of ours, Greg Parrish, has come back, and we're going to be discussing a little bit of his new music, absolutely fantastic, big fan of Greg's, so I've got to be honest with you. Uh, for those of you that are on board right now, I've got to welcome you guys on board, it really is nice to have you on board, and if you're a first time viewer, tell you what, why not do this? Why not become part of the family? We call it the noise here at Galaxy. Simply because, believe me, we hear you. We get all of your media and we take part and we absolutely take notice. We do. That's how we structure a lot of our shows here at Galaxy is by your opinions. What you ask for, artist and track, believe me, breakfast show, all about it. Really, really is. In the meantime, tell you what, let's get right into it. And kick it off with Greg Parrish, and everybody else is here. Give us just a couple of minutes. All right. There. How's the temperature over there? You still in summertime? And right now, it is about 70 degrees. I heard you saying it's what, like 20 degrees there? It's 25 degrees. I'm winning. Celsius. So Celsius, oh. Celsius. So, uh, Celsius, okay. Yeah, when it comes up to uh, for the um, for the temperature again, I'll, get, I'll let you know because uh, the computer revolves all sorts of crap. Really, it does. But it does from time to time. Let me know what the temperature in Fahrenheit is outside. So uh, I'll let you know about that one soon. I see Nick Clues is watching. Hello, brother man. Nice to have you on board. It really, really is. And uh, thank you for joining us in the breakfast show this morning. Absolutely love you. And give Pippa a hug for me, won't you? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Gosh, Greg. When was the last time we caught up? March, I think. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, was it? Uh, it, was a, it was a couple months ago, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Been a little bit, but... Always good to be back on here. I appreciate you guys having me again. Oh, uh, believe me, my friend, we're very, very honoured to be in your association. We love your work. We really do. Thank mm. you so much. <laughs> Gosh, it's hot in here. Can we open up uh, a window, you know, employ some Kiwi air conditioning? <laughs> 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 it's all about Kiwi air conditioning. Believe me, it gets bloody hot in there. You have to be comfortable while you work. Oh, yeah. It's, well, believe me, if I was comfortable, uh, the girls would be calling for, you know, the police. <laughs> <laughs> 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where we're at right now. Gotcha. That's, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, not bad outside. I'd be happy if it stayed right there. Add another 10, 15 degrees for being in here with all the computers and everything, and it's starting to get up there yeah. a little bit, you know. And especially in the summertime, my gosh, <laughs> it gets hot in here. It really does. Oh, I imagine so. Very melty. Very. Now, what's the average uh, summertime temperature in New Zealand? Uh, about 30 degrees Celsius. 30 to 40? Yeah. Yeah, about 30 to 40. I think that would be up around the hundreds these days for you guys. Okay. Anywho, let me... That's about the same for us here. Yeah. That's right, and guess what? I didn't turn the mic on. I forgot to turn the mic on. How crazy is that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Good one, Grant. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and today we're talking to Greg Parrish. Good to have Greg back again. It really, really is. See, he's in his office. Nice to have you back, Greg. Welcome. Thank you so much. Always glad to be back on Galaxy 107. Well, believe me, we're always, always happy to have you, my friend. We're big fans of your work. We really, really are. And we kicked off the show. Everybody else is here. Now, believe me, lots and lots of people have been requesting this. 2,715 requests so far since we've been playing it. Why is this so successful? I think it's just because it's a driving tune. Honestly, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of catchy. It starts out with the bass line, and the bass line kind of drives it the whole way through, even during the uh, coming out of the chorus, going into the bridge. It, it goes right back to that original bass line, the way the song started, and um, it's just a driving song. You know, Greg, I see requests for this track every morning. And from the very first time we started playing it, it has just not gone away. Greg, you're absolutely haunting my breakfast show every morning. I've got to be honest with you. So uh, <laughs> that is fantastic. It really, really is. Uh, now, at the same time, I think we should refresh everybody's memory. Uh, as a fan, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, Greg, do you respond? Absolutely. I personally respond to everything. So um, it's Greg Parrish Music on Facebook, Greg Parrish Music on Instagram, and you can also find us at gregparrishmusic.com. Fantastic. Oh, and, and we're on TikTok as well. <laughs> One of those ones as well. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, do you have a, um, a merch store, and how do we get to that? Actually, you can, uh, I believe you can get to that through our website, uh, gregparishmusic.com. Um, if you send us a, a message on there, or you can email us at gregparishmusic at gmail. Uh, tell us what you want. We'll figure out a way to get it to you. Very, very cool. Uh, <clears throat> I see Nick Please is joining us coming out of the UK. He's a bass player. He goes, uh, nice one, Greg. It's all about the bass. Uh, got to agree. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. And of course, Nick plays. Well, I think that's what, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Megan Trainer. I think that's what she said all about that bass. So. Yeah, yeah, but I, I my bass player Max Watson would love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Megan Trainer wouldn't mind playing her bass. Got to be honest. <laughs> but I want to keep it seemly, don't I? Uh, don't want to leave them talking. Bad really, but I do want to leave them talk. Tell me about this, because believe me, we've only been playing it a little while, and it is just going through the roof right now. What makes this one the one that everybody's asking for just recently? Why is this one getting to be so successful? Because it's kind of a sing-along song, you know, the part uh, in the chorus where you got your oh, this, it's, it's something that the crowd gets involved in. Uh, Sometimes we end our show with it. We just leave them talking, and the band's up there jamming, and they go through an extended, uh, extended part of the song. That's why I leave the stage. But there's, it's just a feel-good song. That's that's the good thing about that one. It, it's it's not so much uh, you don't you don't feel anything serious about it. It's just something that it's just a feel-good song when you're singing it. The crowd sings along with you. I don't know. It's just fun. <laughs> well, I I tell you what. Uh, it seems like everybody is starting to get on board with the Greg Parish, and leave them talking. You're right here at Galaxy, and believe me, I'm loving this. Here you are, right here at Galaxy. <laughs> Gosh, I'm trying to say something, you're talking to me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I've got production in the other room. Nattering away, they've left one of their microphones on, it's in one of my earphones. <laughs> it really is. How many countries are tuned in right now? Okay, 164. 164 countries tuned in right now. It's not bad. Wow. It's not bad, really. Um, That's pretty cool. 1.8 billion people in India. Relative, it really that is. That is crazy. It really <laughs> is because um, we, when we first come up with the concept of this, that was put to us, we've actually been headhunted. We thought, well, okay, let's go and 
crunch a few numbers. So we've got a few professionals that are already in India that we are quite aware of to go out and give us some stats, do some, you know, groundwork. Let's see what we can come up with. They came back and said within the first year, 150 million listenership. Wow. Now, we average between... That's amazing. We average between four and six million, and we think that's pretty bloody good. <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> we, we do, but 150 million? Wow. <laughs> that's kind of making our... Um, yeah. We need to polish our act, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'd say at four to six million, you're doing pretty darn good, Grant. Taking us 10 years. I'll take four to six million listeners anytime. If you want to give them the bet, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I tell you what, it's taken us 10 years and a lot of hard work, and we appreciate each and every person that tunes in to be a part Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. You know? Um, Absolutely. One person shares it with somebody else. And that's, that's, that's how you grow. Well, that's what's happened is when we first started this, Greg, we actually, Barbara and I, i got to be honest, we're getting drunk on air. Yeah. <laughs> on a Monday night, it was called Monday Night Skype Party. And um, yeah. we, we were just inviting friends on Skype while we were having a few drinks and oh, playing music too. on the radio at, late at night. And the bosses sort of frowned on that and said it's not good for the image, but they liked the idea of incorporating Skype and radio. So they said, yeah. come up with a new idea. So we came up with the idea where we're going to interview indie artists. And 10 years later, we've done thousands now. And they've told all their friends, and that's where we're at, is they follow us. And I love that. Absolutely. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and today we're talking to Greg Parrish and absolutely loving Leave Them Talking. Now, Greg, uh, we've come to the end of another interview, and it's always, always a pleasure to have you back. Got to ask there, though, anything new in the can? Have you got anything coming up? Actually, we uh, we do. It's, it's not quite ready yet. It's all in the mix-down part of it, um, but... We'll have something new coming out later this year, um, probably sooner rather than later, but I can't give a time frame yet because I don't know the time frame yet, but we do have some more in the in the works. I'm yeah. looking forward to it, and then as soon as we get it, we'll get it to you for sure. Well, that's exciting for me, believe me, uh, being a big fan of yours, I'm really, really chomping at the bit, but anything new that comes our way from you really am, but basically that means you might just come back for yet another interview. I would love that. I always love coming back to Top of Galaxy. Awesome, awesome. Anyway, my friend, don't go anywhere just yet because we're going to take a few pickies. Have a little chat about uh, what's in store for the future, not only for us here, but for indie artists that we promote. And believe me, it's fantastic news. It really, really is. Uh, for everybody else, please join me in a couple of minutes because uh, we're heading all the way over to Brisbane to catch up with some Brisbaneans by the name of Mermaid Avenue. Quarter past 11 New Zealand Standard Time. We're going to get them out of bed before 10 o'clock. Never heard of Australians they get out of bed before 10, but we've managed to do it. Barbara's already woken them up. You're in Galaxy right now. Take care. Happy radio, everyone. How was that, great?